On this date 75 years ago, August 9, 1945, a United States Army Air Force B-29 dropped a 10,000-pound plutonium bomb nicknamed Fat Man over the city of Nagasaki, Japan, three days after Hiroshima. Japan surrendered less than a week later, bringing to an end World War II. The decision by President Harry Truman to use the atomic bomb has been debated ever since. So how does it look three quarters of a century later, especially from the vantage point of someone who was there on the ground? Harry Smith has our Sunday Spotlight. July 16, 1945. Of that first successful detonation of a nuclear weapon in New Mexico, Robert Oppenheimer, the head of the Los Alamos Laboratory, reacted this way. Line from the Hindu scripture, now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all thought that one way or another. Less than a month later, the Enola Gay drops an A-bomb above Hiroshima. It explodes 2,000 feet above the Earth. Tens of thousands die instantly. We shall completely destroy Japan's power to make war. Three days later, Nagasaki is the target, with a similar result. American Howard Kokita, then seven years old, had been standing on the roof at his grandparents' home in Hiroshima. His grandmother insisted he come down. If we stayed on that roof when the bomb exploded, we would have been burnt to a crisp. This is after the A-bomb. Howard says one way to understand the horror of that day is to look at the numbers of American lives lost thus far to COVID-19. That took eight months. That one primitive bomb in Hiroshima killed the same number of people in a very fraction of a second. Yet as soon as the Soviet Union had a nuclear weapon, the arms race was on. Baby boomers were taught to do this. Well, it was sort of ludicrous, as you will recall. We all had drills to hide under our desks. Ambassador Wendy Sherman negotiated nuclear control issues with both North Korea and Iran. Hiroshima and Nagasaki are the only times in history that nuclear weapons have been used. What did the world learn from that? The world learned that nuclear weapons should only be a deterrence, not a war fighting weapon. Now it appears that many countries are considering that there might come a time when they would use a nuclear weapon. While the U.S. and Russian stockpiles are shadows of their former selves, North Korea is believed to have 20 or more nukes, and Iran looks to be inching its way toward a nuclear weapon. Do you think there's enough tension in the world in certain places that someone would make a purposefully wrong decision and use a nuclear weapon? I hope not, Harry. I really hope not. I don't think actually there's any country that really wants a nuclear war, but I think through inadvertence or accident, you could see an escalation that might take us there. It's important, I think, that we understand the misery and terror and death that it caused. If we were to be able to put all those stories together and present it to the world with the knowledge of the mistakes, uh, I think that'll be a wonderful task to do. For Sunday Today, Harry Smith, New York.